I made these cute little lights. I got a hundred stand LED lights and got these little sh plastic shot glass cups from the dollar store. And I love it. I love having little decorations around. And I bring my potted plant. I have so many plants at home and I hate to leave them, so I bring them with me. And I do little decorations. Here's my favorite float. Had to pull it up because those storms that cut through the Midwest have filtered their way down here now. And the water should be out beyond that farthest tree, which is about 25 feet away. So the dam is probably about 304 to 305 feet high, the water level. And they have to keep the water in this reservoir and let it out slowly or else they would flood everything downstream. So as you can see, we don't have a lot of beach right now, but normally I can, the weather, the, the water was high here anyway, and I can kind of uh, swim a little bit in the shade, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> so I haven't been out in the water yet today, but here's my hammock that I promise you was on dry land when we set it up. But hopefully the water will slowly go back down and I might be able to get my beach back. But the lake is just beautiful. Oh, and here's the fire pit. This is a designated site they started doing this, you see it's wrapped with rocks around the edge. And they left a little walkway to get down to the water. But they wrapped this with rock to try to prevent erosion. This is run by the state of North Carolina. This is our sitting area when we sit outside. And then Mark has a lovely big TV. And Bonnie sent me the lovely table cover. I just love that. But it's a very nice sight and hopefully at some point I'll be able to show you life from the lake. We had some ducks that came up for a couple of days and we fed them. I'm not sure where they are right now. It's a beautiful lake. You can see it's pretty clear water. You can see the bottom sand right there. Anytime you have the water come up this high, of course you'll be swimming with pine straw and pine cones and everything else that washes up. But it's a beautiful lake. This lake was a TWA project from back in the 1940s and they built a hydroelectric dam that also served to prevent flooding further down the Roanoke Rapids. But um, they used to give dam tours, and as a child, we loved saying that. Oh, we want to take a dam tour. We want to go see the dam water. But it was wonderful. We would go underground under the dam and see the huge, huge pipes that brought the water in and the big turbines that would turn that energy into electricity. So it was quite special. Quite special.
since we've been here, we saw a waylaid seagull. We have a great blue heron who comes by several times a day. We've seen Canada geese and the ducks. It's a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful lake. I've been camping on this lake since I was a child. I brought my children here. Even when I lived in Maryland, we came down to North Carolina to the lake. Here's the camper. It's awfully comfortable and hasn't leaked a bit. Mark did a beautiful job of cleaning it and checking and doing the normal maintenance on it this year. And even with these horrific rains we've had, it has done beautifully. But isn't it nice? You camp in the shade, in the pine trees, right at the edge of the lake. A little closer to the edge than I would have wished, but all in all, it's been lovely. It's been very, very nice. Mark has a satellite dish set up. Uh, he loves to watch his television and just relax. He loves that he doesn't have to wake up to an alarm clock. He does whatever he wants, when he wants, eats when he wants. Very relaxing. Now it is a Tuesday, so it's very quiet, especially after last night's storm. It became even quieter. We had a neighbor beside us who was in a tent and they kind of packed their stuff up this morning and abandoned the tent and the screen room which sustained damage in the storm. I think they weren't that pleased and I have a feeling all of their stuff got pretty wet. So they left and that was that. And other savvy campers went and scavenged what they left behind. People that camp for years know you can usually fix most things pretty easily. And it's always nice to have extras. We're hoping to have a campfire tonight. In fact, Mark found some purchased firewood left on a campsite last week that he brought home. And uh, so we're hoping to do marshmallows tonight. I don't eat as many marshmallows as I used to. But I tell you what, it is, sure is fun to at least once have some marshmallows and roast it over the fire. I bring a hummingbird feeder, which I hang on the front of the camper. And I bring a bird feeder. And it looks like the squirrel got smart here. And uh, said, if I tip this over, I can get more goodies. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it that way. I haven't had the birds this time. We had cardinals two days. But uh, I think with all of the rain, they've been a little disheartened. But I'm going to leave it that way and let the squirrels have a good time. Now, normally we have dog beds that the dogs lay on in the, when they're out in this. But we put them away for the rain last night, so they won't stay out too long. They like to be wherever I am, so when I'm out, they like to be out, but when I go in the camper, they go in the camper. But isn't this peaceful? Very peaceful. Poor Mark has had to move his satellite dish numerous times because every time it, he used to have it out, about 20 feet out, but he didn't want it to be damaged, so every time the rain would come up, he'd bring it up. But hopefully they'll keep letting the water out 
Um, if it goes any two feet higher, we'll have to leave. But they're calling for very little rain in the future. So hopefully this is the highest it'll be and we'll be just fine. Very, very pretty. When I come camping, I like to lay in the hammock. I like to sew by hand. <coughs> Work on projects. We've seen lots of turkey vultures. They're really interesting, especially when they come and land on a branch right above your head. You start to question yourself if you're really feeling okay. <laughs> This is a good sized lake. It straddles the North Carolina Virginia border. It's got about 800 miles of shoreline, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly. Used to be dairy farms in the 1940s before they flooded it. I know it was heartbreaking for the families who had to leave, but so many people dearly love this lake. I think the, the dam was finished in 1952, and then within 10 years, I was camping here. Not exactly at this lake. We camped in Virginia at the time I was born and raised in Virginia, so we camped on the Virginia side. <laughs> 